Are you looking for the next craft beer to try? Well, maybe Doppelganger from Treehouse is the one for you. Welcome back everybody. So today we are gonna try Doppelganger from Treehouse Brewing Company. Thank you to Kyle at No Hype for sending this one. I will link to his channel down below. I actually thought I had this. Uh, Alter Ego, if you go back one or two of my Treehouse videos, I was talking there was a couple blue ones. Alter Ego is the one I had. Doppelganger is one I haven't had. So per the can, Double India Pale Ale, 8% ABV, one pint. Uh, we are not going to read what's on it. Uh, canned on 4 11 19. Uh, this is the beginning of July. That is my fault, as again, I thought I had this one, so I was pushing it to the back. Now, untapped is showing 8.2% ABV and 88 IBUs. So uh, I'm going to go by the can, but you might want to check the Treehouse Brewing website to see what they say it is. So let's go ahead and get this open and get it into a glass. I'm sure you can hear the dog walking around. Uh, we've had a very hot summer and she didn't want to go outside. So she is inside with me. Uh, kind of like the last one, I don't remember which one it was. Um, I can't remember, but it did have a big head also. Uh, two fingers of head, almost all small bubbles, a couple medium uh, bubbles on the side are compact like dish soap. Color, very orange, orange juice, pulpy orange juice, very hazy. I can't see through it. I can't see the light box at all. It looks like there are some bubbles coming up from the side, and I did just wash this glass. Let's go ahead and get a smell, see what we get. Tropical fruit mango is what I really pick up on in this beer. Like in some pulp, like uh, citrus pulp, uh, grapefruit pulp, not the, let's say sourness from the grapefruit like you would see in like a double IPA where it's got that big like rind uh, or meaty grapefruit, but um the the other side like just grapefruit pit man that's weird like you get that mango then that pit but then it like turns into citrus i'm going to like so you get that mango, you get that pit, like if you took a whole bunch of fruit and citrus and like squeezed out the meat part and smelled it all at once, that's what you get. But then it's like cotton candy. I don't know if I'm just going crazy or I've been outside uh, cleaning up the hot boxes too long. But so to summarize everything up it's like i get that mango that mango is like dominant to me then you get that pith of like fruit and citrus grapefruit mixed together but then it like blends into a cotton candy that's enough with the smell uh let's go ahead and taste it It's got some sweetness sweet malt like sweet malt is what I get up front maybe mixed with a little tropical fruit but then as it goes back you do get more of like that meaty citrus taste and that's like it aftertaste is more of like a sweet malt than anything. A little bit of bitterness back there. 
let's fill this up just to see. I think Kyle did a review on this uh, when he picked them all up. And I haven't watched them just because I wanted to review them before I watched them. Because most of these Treehouse beers I haven't had. But yeah, it's it's from brewing a lot of beers and doing this small batch brewing series that we're doing. Uh, it's like there's more malt sweetness than anything. And for 8%, I'm surprised... I'm getting that much malt sweetness unless they really upped the grain bill then didn't let the yeast finish. That's almost what it tastes, tastes like at the beginning. Very smooth. But yeah, in the taste, it's almost all sweet malt mixed with some citrus, with some some tropical fruit but it's not very big like that that sweet malt is still taking over then you get a little bitterness it goes down uh very smooth i'm guessing there's oats in here i could be wrong then like the aftertaste is more of like the hops like the dry hops that they used Almost like a, a lactose, like a, a vanilla character. I'm not sure what's going on right now. But yeah, it's in the aftertaste, it's almost got the like that lactose vanilla character in there. And I'm not sure if it's the sweet malt reacting with the hops that's kind of producing that, but I almost think there's lactose. which really doesn't make sense. Maybe it's a combination of that tropical fruit and that citrus blending together. Very weird beer, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, I would probably have to go with a 4.25 out of five. I would like to see that sweet malt uh, toned down, especially for a treehouse beer. Uh, usually they're known for the tropical flavors, something to come out. And I think this one has a little too much malt unless that's what they were going for in this beer. But yeah, uh, 4.25 out of five. Let's read the back, just see if we can do anything. Uh, tropical fruit, we got that, papaya. Now, there could be some papaya, maybe that tropical fruit citrus mix is some papaya. Um, it, there is mango and peach. I do not get peach out of this at all. Um, and that is about it. So we did hit the, the tropical and the mango, but not the peach. I do not get peach and I get more citrus than they're saying. Um, but that could just be me. Let's check untapped, see what they have to say. 30 of my, 34 of my friends have checked this beer in average 4.54 out of five. Uh, 58,000 people have rated this average 4.49. So I am on the lower end of this beer. Um, double IPA. Uh, now they do say uh, on here, which is weird because I thought it would follow what they put on the can. Uh, they do describe this as a juicy and dank citrus bomb. So... For that reason, I would say I'm closer to what the description on Untap says than what is on the label. Uh, from, excuse me, all the people um, checking in the details on Untapped, I would say it's carved. They do say sweet. Now, I wish Untapped, in which I could be kind of hard for regular craft beer drinkers that don't brew, what kind of sweetness is that? Is that from grain sweetness? Is that from them using a fruit or the combination of hops that is perceiving a sweetness? Because um, that would be interesting because, again, since we've done our small batch series, I've picked up on some of those uh, uh, smash beers that have been over, let's say, malted. So using too many malts or too much malts 
that you're getting that malt sweetness and that's what it tastes like to me uh, other than or instead of like a fruit sweetness probably going way too far off on this one um, just seeing if anybody has commented uh, nothing really somebody talking about uh, uh, Treehouse being known for Julius and saying you have to try Julius, but they're saying you have to try this one. Better than I recall, plus 0.25. So yeah, definitely a beer to pick up if you can pick them up. Obviously, I, I don't think they distribute anywhere. You have to go to Treehouse to get this. So thank you to Kyle at No Hype for sending this. He will have a big package coming soon. Uh, I will link his channel down below because I know he did a lot of them and a lot of other ones that you should go ahead and check out. So if you like this video, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. And until next time, happy brewing.